In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a custom icon and export it as an SVG in Figma. I'm starting with a blank canvas. I'm actually going to create a custom gear icon in Figma. So going down to my shape tool, I'm going to start with a star shape and I'm going to change it to black. In the appearance panel, you can actually change the amount of points on this star. So I'm going to change it to eight. So using some of the controls on the shape, I can change the shape of the points and also the corner radius of those points. So next I'm going to draw a circle in the middle and fill it with white. Let's align these two shapes. I'm going to select them both and use the positioning tools to align it in the center, horizontally and vertically. These are two shapes. I actually want them to be one shape and I, know I want to knock out that center circle. So in my panel on the right, I can click these three dots and go to subtract selection. When I select both the shapes, it knocks out that circle from the shape beneath it. And just to show you another way to do this, you can go up to object, Boolean groups, and select subtract selection. And that will knock out the top shape into the bottom shape. So you just have one shape. So now that I've created this vector icon, I now want to export it as a vector SVG. So in my toolbar on the right in Figma, the very bottom you'll see export. If you open the export menu, there's a drop down that has several different export options, PNG, JPEG, SVG, and PDF. So let's select SVG. So this is really simple. All you have to do is hit the button below that, and say export to export the SVG. I'm going to rename this to gear icon in the pop-up box, choose where you want to save it and then click save. So here's my SVG file. If you want to edit this SVG, you can open it with a vector editing program such as Adobe Illustrator and I'll quickly demonstrate how that works. So now I've opened this SVG file in Illustrator. When I click on it, you can see this is completely vector and now it is also editable within this program. You could export this vector file as an EPS for print, and you can also export it in other file formats. So that's how you create a vector icon within Figma and export it as an SVG. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to Cry Studio for more graphic design and Figma tutorials. Thanks so much.